Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. <clears throat> this is Kyle. Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Karen Malave. <clears throat> Hello, Nina. Hello, Nina. Yeah, this is good. You know what to do. Yeah, this is Gip. Hello, Connie. Hello, Connie. Hello, Ryan. The subscriber you have dialed is not in service. If you feel you've received subscriber you have dialed it. Hello, James. Hello, Linda. Hello, James.
Hello? Hello, James. Yes. This is Kyle. I'm getting back to you and Linda about the request for the new final expense information. This was the little yellow postcard that you sent off in the mail a few weeks ago. I'm the local field underwriter, and I'll be in your area on Tuesday. Is it better to drop this in the mornings or in the afternoons? What is it? This was the little yellow postcard that you sent off in the mail a few weeks ago. It talked about the final expense information. Some people refer to it as burial or cremation. Burial or cremation. Did you say anything about that? And I'm, I'm the local field owner. I don't remember. Okay. Hello? Hello, Linda? Yeah. Hi, this is Kyle. I'm getting back to you and James <clears throat> about a request for the new final expense information. This was a little yellow postcard that he, I think he sent off in the mail a few weeks ago. And yeah, I'm, he did. Okay. I'm the local field underwriter, and I'm going to be in the area on Tuesday. Is it better to drop that information in the mornings or in the afternoons? Just a minute. Okay. Uh, what time did you say morning? Well, I could do morning or afternoon. I can do as early as uh, 7.30. Oh, is eight o'clock? Yeah, most people decline that. Is eight o'clock uh, too early, or would ten o'clock be better? Uh, eight or ten o'clock in the morning. Uh, eight will probably be all right. Okay, if I get there at eight, will I have any coffee left? <laughs> yeah, I always have coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, hey, do you have a uh? A piece of paper, Linda, where you could write something important down real quick. Uh, <laughs> Inject well, humor whenever possible, but not too much. Uh, just hold on. A I just increased bit. my show ratio. Take your time. They laughed. I just increased my show ratio. You can't do it too much. You got to do it at the right opportunities. Listen to how I continue to increase my show ratio with a few things at the end here. I'm having her write okay. something down. Okay. Um, my name is... Just, just a minute. Okay. Wait, you hold it right there. <laughs> okay. 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 My name is Kyle. It's K-Y-L-E. Uh, I'm a younger gentleman. I will be driving a little gray Mazda 3. That way you know who it is when I pull up. And um, in case I have any trouble finding it, uh, what color is the house out there, Linda? It's yellow with brown shutters. Yellow house. And, uh, yeah. Okay. And I will, um, if you could grant me some grace on the time, uh, I will be there sometime between 8 and 9. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, but yeah, depending on, are you guys' roads pretty cleaned up out there? Yeah, they're pretty good. Okay. Alrighty, well, try not to forget about me. I'll be by tomorrow morning between 8 and 9, uh, and it, it should be about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on questions you guys might have. Okay. Okay. And, and this is for insurance, or? It's, it works kind of like that. It's a program that talked about final expenses, like when someone passes away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll also bring a copy of the, the card that was filled out. Okay. So I will be there between 8 and 9 if you could let James know. Um, yes. That way we're all on the same page, and I will yeah. see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. You guys have a good rest of your day. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. I always get a little nervous when they hand it off to the spouse. I'm glad she knows that he filled it out.
I always love to get the morning booked. right next right to the next one now's where some new agents might be tempted to get up go to the bathroom make themselves a sandwich no just set aside some time to dial and the faster you can get these dials out the faster you can contact people and get through these leads hello Patrick Hello, Goldie. This is Becca. Please leave a message. Thank you. Yes, sweetie. Come on in. Hello Goldie, hello Patrick. Hello, Patrick. Hello, Goldie. Hello, Bonnie. Hello. Hello, Bonnie. Yeah. Hey, this is Kyle. I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. This was the little yellow postcard you sent off in the mail a few weeks ago. I'm the local uh, underwriter. I don't remember, but... Hey, I, I hardly remember what I had for breakfast. Um, this is Bonnie, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm the local field underwriter, and I'm going to be in your area on Tuesday, Bonnie. Is it better to drop this information to you in the mornings or in the afternoons? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, if you're going to be here tomorrow, be in the afternoon because I have an aide coming in the morning. Okay. When you say afternoon, do you mean more like 12 or more like 2? Well, she leaves at 1 o'clock, so you have to make it after, okay. after 1. Let me see here. I could do sometime, uh, I could squeeze it in sometime between 2 and 4. Do you have a piece of paper, Bonnie? Yeah, I always carry paper around here. Okay. Hang on. 
Take your time. Like I said, I don't remember sending it off. I might have, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so my name is Kyle, K-Y-L-E. Uh, I'm a younger gentleman. I will be driving a little gray Mazda 3. That way you know who it is when I pull up. And I'll drop this to you sometime between 2 and 4 in the afternoon, if you could grant me some grace on that time. Uh, sometimes there's some travel between. Um, some people have more questions than others. But I'll bring a copy of the card for you to look at as well and to kind of refresh your memory. And I'll be there sometime between 2 and 4. Uh, you got the address? I'm, also, I'm up on top floor, so I probably won't look out the window to see you coming, but... That's fine. Okay. Um, what what color is the apartment? Is it brick or? It's brick. Okay, brick. It's right, right next door to Tolly's. There's a restaurant named Tolly's, and it's a big building right next door to it. Okay. Is that Tolly's with a T? Yeah. Okay. It's right across from the Wilco office and the BMV, and you can't miss this building. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, Miss Bonnie. Well. Hope you have a good rest of your day, and I uh, will drop this tomorrow sometime between 2 and 4. It should be about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your questions. Okay. Okay. You have a good yeah. rest of your day. You too. All right. Bye-bye. So, even though we are... We are trying to get off of the phone. You don't want to reflect that in your the speed of your language. You don't want to sound anxious. You don't want to sound like you're in a hurry. Um, it's okay to kind of be a matter of fact and kind of to the point. Um, but you don't want to sound like you're trying to hurry up and jump off the phone. And after the appointment's all set, I like to kind of take my time and say, and kind of talk slow, like, all right, well, hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will drop that out there tomorrow. I try to slow down. Right there, I felt like I kind of hurried. I said, all right, bye-bye. Kind of felt like I maybe got in a rush. No. Just a little side note there. Hello, Rock. Hello, Rock. Hello, Rock. You have reached Rock <clears throat> Hello, Rock. Hello, Rock. Hello, Rock. If you notice also with Bonnie, she answered the phone kind of loud, so I increased my volume a little bit. You want to kind of match them, even when they come to, this, to the phone like, Hello! That doesn't happen very often, but if they do that, you want to say, Hello, John! You almost want to match them. And then what's funny is they'll come down, Well, yeah, this is John. Just a weird thing I was taught and I've used it and it works. Match, matching and mirroring their intensity when they open when they answer the phone. Hello 
Robert. Hello, Robert. Hello, Mary Ellen. <clears throat> Hello, Mary Ellen. So that's the cell. We're going to call the home phone now. Same deal. Three dials if I need it. Hello, Robert. Hello, Mary Ellen. Hello, Robert. Hello, Mary Ellen. Hello. Hello, Mary Ellen. No, this is Marcella Cluster. Me. I think I read your name wrong, man. Wrong <laughs> um, no, I I got the right number. I just couldn't read the handwriting. Um, my name is Kyle. Uh, I'm getting back to you and Robert's request for the new final expense information. This was the little yellow postcard that you all sent off in the mail a few weeks ago. And I'm yeah, the... my husband probably did. I did. <laughs> okay. It looks like a man's handwriting. It's hard to read your name. Um, I'm the yeah. local field underwriter, and I'm going to be in your area on Tuesday. Is it better to drop the information to you guys in the mornings or in the afternoons? <clears throat> Uh, well, that's okay. Uh, I'm just the underwriter, so all I do is drop it to him. Uh, it was filled out for Robert, and then he listed a home phone and a cell phone and an email. Okay. Um, I'm going to be out there tomorrow. I could drop it uh, around 10 a.m. or around 12 noon. Which of those do you think would work better? Probably 12 noon, probably. 12 noon, okay. Um, do you have a piece of paper, Marcella, where you could write something down real quick? Okay, hang on here. Okay. Find a pen. Take your time. Seems like you always have one, and the next thing you know, it's gone. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Here comes ghosts. <laughs> Okay, what do you need? Okie doke. Uh, my name is Kyle. It's K-Y-L-E. I'm a younger gentleman. And I will be driving a little gray Mazda. That way you guys gray know. Car. Yeah, a little gray Wait, car. Okay, sweetie, one second. So you know who it is when I pull up. And I will be there uh, tomorrow sometime between 12 and 2. If you could okay. grant me a little bit of grace on the time. Uh, there's some travel in between, and some people have more questions than others. Um, yeah, I Mars know. If, uh, if Bob's taking the car right now, otherwise I could let him talk to you. 
he might have called you. I have no idea. No worries. Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be out there tomorrow. Um, what color is the house, Marcella? In case I have any trouble finding it. Roy, get down. Get down. Come on. <laughs> hey, we haven't been outside. Okay, let me make sure I got this right. I, I have a two, four, six, eight. Uh, well, that might be where uh, he's at. Also, I mean, he he goes back to the, his uh, place where he used to live quite a bit. Okay, okay. This is so. This is his address. The mat, the new yeah. Madison, and. Will he Daddy. will he be at your house tomorrow, Marcella? I would say so. I'll tell him to hang around. Okay. What what's your address, ma'am? Magnolia Drive. Drive. Greenville. Greenville, okay. Ohio. Yep, I will be in Greenville tomorrow. I've got another couple to see out there. And okay. is it a one story or two story home? Mine's only one. One story. Any vehicles I can brick. look for? Okay, brick. Perfect. Yeah, now we're, ours, ours is usually in the garage. Okay. All right. Well, Marcella, again, my name is Kyle. I'll drop it by okay. um, between 12 and 2. It should just okay. be about 10 minutes, depending on his questions. And if you could let Robert know that I'm going to swing by, that'll okay. keep us both out of trouble. Okay. I'll try. <laughs> okay. You have a good rest of your day. You too. Bye. All right. Bye. So... When you have to contend with a two-year-old coming in, that's never the most exciting thing. A two-year-old who really doesn't need anything right at this moment. But, you know, one interesting point is, guys, in regards to this, you can do this from home. You can do your dials. Like, if, if you're a person that's thought... You know, that can't really be done. I can't I can't dial because my baby's home. I can't dial because I gotta watch the little one for these hours. You can. You can it's and she's usually really good about it. But just a side note, I mean you you can make it work if you want to. <clears throat> Hello, Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Cancel. Hello, Vicky. Hmm. Well, they're home. I don't, I can't read the husband's name. It looks like it says honest. We're unable to take your phone call at this time. Please leave a message. Unable, huh? We'll try one more time.
And then we'll try them again in the afternoon and in the evening. Hello, Vicky. Hello. Hello, is Vicky there? Vicky's here. Who's this? Uh, this is Kyle. Uh, I'm getting back to you guys about a request for the new final expense information. This was a little yellow postcard that you all sent off in the mail a few weeks ago. Oh, well, just forget. We know things happen, you know. <laughs> is Vicky around? So what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to take the time, I usually don't do this, I'm going to take the time to look them up real quick on white pages. call right back and use the I'm not a telemarketer type of deal. Hobart. So here's a good example, guys. I should have looked up their name prior. I couldn't read his name on the card because it's handwritten. But I just found him on white pages, and her husband's name is Hobart. So instead of saying, hey, is Vicky there? Which was not what you want to do. I could have been better prepared and looked that up and said, hey, hello, Hobart. Would have been would have been a better start to the conversation. Let's see if I can totally redeem myself. Hello, Hobart. Hello, this message is for Vicki and Hobart. Uh, this is Kyle. I am not a telemarketer. Uh, I'm an underwriter, and I'm getting back to you guys about a little yellow postcard that you received in the mail. We talked about a final expense program. Some people refer to it as burial or cremation. Uh, but you took the time to fill out this little yellow postcard and send it off in the mail a few weeks ago. Uh, the reason for my call I'm going to be in the area on Tuesday, and I was checking to see if it's better to drop this information in the mornings or in the afternoons. Now, if you could call me back, that would be great. Phone number is 740-503-0226. Um, just to confirm, the uh, card we got back, the address we had was one, and you listed two phone numbers as well, a home and a cell. So give me a call back.
I'm not a telemarketer. <laughs> All right, have a good day. Well, we'll see if that works. If not, you door knock it.